so many dresses. got it one after the other so I'm happy to be up and moving around today I'm going to be working in Nicole's closet it's a mess there are a lot of things that are too small and they just need to be taken out I already have a stash over here that as I was trying things on her um, the last few months I, I noticed it was too small I would put it over here so that I could deal with it later well today's later so come on Let's get going. I've already made some pajama shorts and capris and legging tubs. She has her socks and underwear caddy and I've already gone through the shoes that don't fit her yesterday. The rest of the closet is a mess. We have storage up on the top above her hangers. I won't be doing that today. That's definitely a future project in itself. I do have more stuff down on the other side as well, but again, not my focus today. I'm trying to have an achievable goal. I'm just focusing on the hangers today. So don't mind the other stuff. We'll work on that another day. <laughs> Small steps. Let's check out the other side. Now that I have those out, it's time to sort through the rest. While looking through Nicole's clothes, I'm checking the tags to see what sizes the dresses are. And I'm pulling out the items that I'm not sure if they still fit her. the two small pile and the pile on the left is all that we're keeping. When we moved into our new house we unpacked some stuff and then we just jumped into homeschool because we were already behind where I wanted to be at that point in time. 
so a lot of these simple house projects just didn't get done. I moved everything in her closet in big plastic trash bags untied the trash bag, hung it up, and walked away. So doing something like this just makes me feel like I've got something done, just a little bit done, and it makes me feel like it's not such a scary project, like I did the, the drawers before with the pajamas and stuff, and I did the shoes yesterday. So one thing at a time in each room, otherwise it just feels like it's too overwhelming for me, and I just don't want to do it. Now I'm gonna finish organizing the rest of the closet, putting everything back that we're keeping. Now that I know that everything that is in her closet fits her, I am sorting the clothes by style, shirts, play dresses, church dresses, and jackets. And I am organizing her church dresses by color so that they will be easier to find when we are looking for a specific dress. This is all the stuff that I pulled out of her closet that doesn't fit anymore. Yay, more space! Well, I'm done. Done for today anyways. I know I have a lot more to do in this closet, but I, like I said, like to set achievable goals. So somebody had once told me one drawer at a time, one item at a time, one project at a time, and it makes it a lot more manageable and a lot less scary to just jump in and do it. So I'm really glad that I got one drawer done today. I hope my organizing my closet helped you maybe decide to organize a drawer or a closet in your house. I'm really happy that I got this done. I know I have a lot more work to do in this closet, but baby steps and celebrate your victories. Yay, I finished my project today. When Mike came home, I showed him what I did in Nicole's closet today, and I was talking to him about how I wished her closet was set up differently. So we decided to come to Lowe's and check out what they had available here and see what we could do to make the closet more functional and maximize our space. When we were there, we saw that they only had three different types of systems on display for us to look at. At our old house, we had a system like this, and I really liked it. I liked being able to adjust it, but I didn't like the look of the wire shelves. I'd like to find something that we can do that's adjustable for when she grows. It was really handy when the boys were getting bigger to be able to adjust the size of what was hanging there. But I don't like the metal look. Well, there's lots to choose from here. I really like my kids to be able to pick out their own clothes from their closet, so I like the idea of having a lower bar like we had at our last house. We have a couple of options, so we got some ideas, and we're gonna go home and we're gonna think about what's best. Her closet is a weird size. It's 58 inches, so Really, there's only one thing that would work here for us or to consider other options. So we're gonna go home, we're gonna think about it, and probably gonna do this sooner than later. You singing? Ooh. <laughs> 
Thank you so much for watching me today as I went through and just did a small project on my humongous list of to-dos. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.